Hey there, Leo here with Digital Track. So, if you're a small business owner that are advertising on Facebook and you're located here on the Bay Area, well, do you know that 62% of small businesses fail with Facebook ads? Okay. So, this is a big number, it's a high number. And I understand if you are a small business here in the uh, Solano County area, Bay Area. Right, this is probably one of the you small businesses that will be affected. So we're going to be covering today why that happens and how to fix some of that. Again, my name is Leo with Digital Track. So if you're a small business owner that uh, just basically are doing small uh, uh, advertising and want to get into advertising business online to reach, continue to reach your clients that way, I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Right, let me take the burden off your marketing, even though that because you know that you need it from you and let me just do that work for you especially you see because i understand that small small business owners that i work with over here they just so busy with with the speciality either be cooking because they're in the restaurant or, or managing the operation of their restaurant or the dentist practice or law practice right or hvac repair services your speciality is to be doing that perhaps right and so you don't have the time to be Messing up with, oh, what button to click to get an advertising here, to uh, send an email here. You don't have the time to be doing that. So, no, you have the desires to be learning. At least the ones clients that I talk to, right? They either they either have an understanding and know how to do it, but just want somebody else to do it for them because they are too busy with other part of the areas. Or they basically don't have that any desires to be dealing with learning technical stuff with our online advertising, but know that they need it and for their business. So 62% of small businesses fail with Facebook ads. That's a big number. Now everyone is using Facebook these days, okay? There are over 2.2 billion active active daily users in Facebook. So let's put it this way: China, being the largest country in the world, has one poor Point four billion people, and Facebook has over two point two billion active daily users. So, if Facebook would be a country, that means Facebook will be the most populated country in the world. It's just basically it's it's just simply massive, right? The Facebook population is massive. So no wonder why businesses they all the business wants to be there to promote their products or services. Now the problem is again is that sixty two percent of small businesses feel like their paid Facebook ads are failing. Okay, now no one wants to go in there and throw money at the ads that doesn't work. What good is such a massive pool of potential customers if you can successfully reach it? Now, thankfully, there are ways to fix the problem and you have to be part of the 62% <coughs> that are failing. So we're going to go ahead and cover uh, some of the common reasons why businesses are failing and uh, with Facebook ads and how to fix some of those issues. Okay, but first... Let's look at the big picture to understand the problem better. So the problem is in Facebook ads, okay? Let's face it. If 96% of all the business to consumers marketers use social, use social media posts as, for, as a form of content marketing, that only leaves that 4% done. Basically, if 96% of companies that are using social media to advertise uh, use content you know, to advertise on, on, on Facebook, for example, that means that 4% that are not doing it. So it's a, 96% are doing it, okay? No, no. And 97% of those 96% are using Facebook. So what tells you right that right there? If 96% of the companies that are using social media, right, that are putting content out there, 97% uh, of those 96% are actually using Facebook to advertise and to stay in contact with their clients. Obviously, they, that works, right? Obviously, Facebook works if if 97% of the 96% that are spending time on social media companies advertising to consumers invest on this. There's a reason why. Otherwise, companies will not exist there, will not be continue to put money in there. They will just leave if they didn't work. So that means nearly everyone is using Facebook for business marketing. If everyone is doing it, then it must work, right? Now, overall, 
only 3% of the companies who participated in the content marketing institute's work survey felt that their content marketing approach was not successful. Uh, let's see what else here have here. Let's see, but small business owners seem to be struggling with success. Why would that be? Okay. Now, 50% of small businesses feel that they're not getting a positive return on investment from Facebook. And that's because of the money, because of the expectation that we go here. All right. Now, this is important for two reasons. Now, number one, the pool of potential customers is so massive that if you cannot do this right, you are basically just handing over a huge chunk of your business to your competitors who succeed, who are having success at it. So are you going to be letting the door open for your competitors to just take out your clients? Right? It's, it's important to understand how this works so that we can actually have some success. Otherwise, you go out, we go out of business if we just let our clients to go and take uh, our competitors to take over the clients. Now, number two, why this is, reason is important is because you're paying for ads that are providing a return, which means you're just throwing uh, money away, time and money away. And obviously, if what you're, the money that you're throwing away is higher than what you're actually getting back in your business, then you will be a business for long, right? Simple business 101. Cash flow expenses. If your cash flow and re revenue is higher than your expenses, obviously you are able to stay in business, right? But if your uh, revenue and your uh, expenses are higher, obviously you're not gonna be a business for very long. So why is that small businesses are failing at Facebook ads when larger companies are not? What are small businesses doing wrong? And here's problem number one, a lack of understanding of content marketing. Now we just show you a little bit about the problem is small is is the problem is not Facebook advertising. The problem is small businesses as we 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 saw previously, right? That if a lot of companies are actually putting money into Facebook advertising, is because it works, right? Otherwise, people will not advertise on Facebook. So we know that Facebook advertising works because of everything that we said uh, in the past. So we know now that the problem is not with Facebook ads, but people are actually doing the advertising. Small businesses doing the advertising. Apologies, I have some bad allergies. My nose is totally uh, can barely breathe right now. So what do small businesses have in common that big businesses do not when it comes to Facebook advertising? Now let's look at small businesses. About one third of small businesses fail within the first two years and half of all small businesses fail by year five. Why is the failure rate so high? Now there's a range of reasons from lack to, of experience to lack of cash flow. Of course, the reason of failing in business can also be valid reasons for failing in marketing. Let's start with the lack of experience, for example, right? Too many small business owners try to wear too many hats and I'm guilty of that. I try to wear too many hats, and at the end, I, could, I, I fail in some areas because of that reason, right? I'm not an expert on that. So obviously, I'm going to fail. I need to bring somebody that can help me at a specific part of the business so that I, I don't continue to fail that. If, if I kind of, if uh, keeping accountability uh, of my expenses is not one of my strengths, then I need somebody so, to take care of that, right? Because obviously, otherwise, I'm going to be spending too much money and I'm not going to know if my business is going to fail. So just because you are an expert in your field, your product, or your service, it doesn't mean that we know everything that we need to know about running a business. I definitely don't, do not know everything that I need to know to run a business. That's where we can bring people to help us out or ask for advertising uh, advice right, from other ones that are expert on the things that we need help with. So Facebook ads are not like an ad you pay to have in a local newspaper. Uh, a basic understanding of content marketing is necessary to see success unless you just insanely lucky. So think about content marketing of the way you, uh, uh, your business, how you basically 
the the process you have been able to put in place to bring customers back into your uh, business. Now, if you are a type of business that perhaps you were like a doctor or a restaurant, dentist, chiropractor, services like uh, contractors, uh, HVAC repair, on the top of your, the front end of your uh, customer acquisition part phase could be uh, low risk offers, no risk offers, low to little risk offers, right? That could be coupons, uh, free specials going on. If you are a dentist, right, you may have a special to new, new clients of free X, X ray exams and free checkups and free white team tip or fifty dollars uh right or on that or how about fifty dollars HVAC repair or free diagnostic on a specific small radios within your city or your business location or restaurant, right? Five dollars off here, five dollars off here, or free meal with three free meal with the purchase of two other meals, right? Uh, all those are the top of your customer acquisition. If you think about it, at some point, uh, you have those type of offer like that to get people to know you, especially if you were just starting. And that's the top of your funnel, the little to no risk offer. Now, in the middle of your funnel is basically could be people that are already, so the top of your funnel is trying to do something to get people to know you. Now, in the middle of the funnel is people that like you, right? People that already have been to your, uh, like your social media, they follow you because they like your stuff, or people that already read your uh, information that you put out, right? If you are doing constantly putting out information, people that have seen your testimonials, right? People that have seen pictures of your food, uh, people that have tried your food. Uh, so that's the phase of the middle of your funnel where you have people that actually like you, like you, then you have people that trust you, right? The people that actually continue to come back to you over and over, loyal, they actually even help you refer other customers. So that's the content marketing funnel. So you got to understand how to apply that to social media, right? You cannot just go on social media and start throwing sales process if you are just basically throwing your ad to a bunch of people that doesn't know you. You cannot just continue to push for the higher sale when you, if you are just advertising to people that doesn't know you. All right? Uh, keep that in mind. You have specific phases within a client. You have your awareness. Basically, you are distributing the word out there to people that doesn't know you because you're new or you're trying to reach a wider area within your local city. Then you have the consideration. People that actually have been to your website, they've already spoken to you before, uh, they already heard your special offers and promotion, and they're actually thinking, okay, I may not be ready right now, but let, let me think about it some more, uh, et cetera, right? And then you have, obviously, your conversion. People that actually already, uh, let's say, they already put the information to schedule something to get contacted. Now it's, it's a conversion phase. To it. Actually, you got to call them back, right? People that inquire for more information, now it's the phase of conversion where you actually have to pick up the phone and call them, follow up with those people. So think about those phases. Uh, and that's basically what content marketing is, right? What to put in front of your clients depending on the, their buying phase or cycle where they are, right? If you put it on, on, on a hard sale, uh, to people that don't know you, now nah, sometimes you may get sales, right? There are people that actually see something that they're desperate for, they have a problem that they're desperate to solve, no matter, and, and, and you might get some sales out of it, right? Uh, but uh, most of the time, when you actually just reach people that don't know you, uh, you have to go into a, a, a no sale at all process, right? You, especially in social media, you basically have to go with the mentality of no sale, but actually getting people to to socialize with your with your brand, with your company, with your store. And then obviously you got other faces. And Facebook has all this built in. And other platforms do the same, right? You have a face within Facebook and some options within Facebook. Uh, if you go to the back office, or what we call the ads manager, where you have uh, an area just for options to choose for awareness phase. Then you have uh, an other set of options to choose for consideration, right? And then you have other options to choose for uh, conversion to close in the sale. So just think about that reference to content marketing. That's that's basically what it is. And the problem number one is not having a great understanding on content marketing, meaning not having a great understanding 
the type of advertisement that you send to a specific group of people, right? You may be sending a hard sale advertising to people that don't even know you, or to people that those are having an interest on your products and services, at that point at least. Now, problem number two is having no strategy, plan, or measurement system. Now, of course, I realize it's not as cut and dry as learning content marketing and you will be a success. I also realize how many hats a small business owners has to wear and how limited your time can be. So I'll take you through several specific areas where small businesses tend to fail with Facebook ads and how to quickly fix them today. Uh, first off, as with any part of your business, the biggest mistake is not having a strategy plan, right? Let's say uh, there's a massive potential to grow your business using Facebook, but if you don't have a clear vision of how you want to use it or what you want to, the outcome to be, obviously, you know, this all will fail. So Facebook is just another business tool. Let's not think about it as the solution to all your problems, to the holy, to the holy, to the this new thing that is just going to magically bring your customers over and over. It's just a business tool, another business tool that you can add to your business. It is used by different businesses in different ways. Over 72% of small businesses say they want to use Facebook to raise awareness. So the other thing to be mindful about it, the strategy, is how you want to use Facebook advertising or other platforms or other advertising you want to use. You want to just basically create awareness, right? Let people know that you just open for business or that you change management or that you have a, an event coming up that is free and is for the community or that you have a special offers to invite people to come in, right? To try new people to come in to try your place. Uh, that's the awareness phase of it, right? Raising awareness. Or you want people to, or you want to be generating phone calls, right? Uh, or people to visit your website, more people to visit your website. Uh, so there's so many goals that you can accomplish uh, or many goals you can approach with Facebook, but you gotta plan this stuff. The other thing was measuring, right? No, not being able to measure uh, or having a plan. So obviously, measurement system it has to do with, there's a lot of, mechanism with the advertising platform especially facebook but that's a little more advanced right you can definitely check a simple way to check is okay how much money i brought into my uh my business am i making way more than enough that what i'm spending on advertising yes okay let's continue to use an advertising that's a simple way to use it right the return on investment now, obviously if you're basically just cutting it too short it doesn't give you the chance that you don't get the money to pay for other stuff. Obviously, you just put in too much money in it that you definitely should continue to, to stop it right now, your advertising. Because it's not something that you're investing that is is, is uh, uh, getting the best return on your investment. But again, if your business is still generating a massive amount of money compared to the little amount of money you you uh using for paid advertising in the beginning that may not be that may not seem like a return on investment but you still can afford it because obviously your business is not being effective for it right you might yeah your revenue may lose a little bit but it's not it's not uh too much where you're gonna start stop be uh, need to pay uh your employees or it's not gonna be enough that you're gonna need to stop paying some other services Right, because you already took took a plan. You already have a plan in place where, okay, I got this much money that I can spend, but yeah, it's not gonna affect any of the other areas because at some point with advertising is uh, uh, testing, right? Especially in the beginning. Uh, so if you don't have the money to do that, let's just go ahead and skip all this because this is not for you. Uh, but if you do have the money to uh, put something in advertising, where you can afford to be able to test something. And then if it works, right, you can just continue to reinvest in it, put in a little more and more and as, as your business grow, right? So that's the plan and, this, and the measurement part of it. Obviously there's way more complex way to measure advertising and revenues, uh, but that's, you know, that's for uh, much more complex part of, uh, businesses out there uh, that may want to put something in there in place. But 
small businesses, especially if it's just you, you may want to keep it simple. Are you making more money, way more money than what you're spending on advertising? Yes? Okay. This works. This is working somehow. So let's continue to invest that until we actually can fine tune it to see what exactly is working from advertising. So problem number three, you're not investing enough time. So think about as a business owner, all the time you invested to put a process in place. Either be all the time you invested from opening your doors to actually getting consistent clients coming. Right? You invested time into something that led to that. Think about the time that it took you to specialize on whatever it is. Either the way you operate and run your, your restaurant. Either the way you run your dentist practice, your law practice or firm, your brokerage company. Uh, the way you, the, the time you invest to learn how to fix repairs or install repairs or replace AC or replace AC, right, HVAC units, etc. So not investing enough time obviously is a problem. Now I understand that the small business owners, you know, just just too busy doing too many other stuff. Um, but think about the, your advertising, right? If you are if your advertising is not long enough out there. Uh, that's a problem. Why is that a problem? Just simply because Facebook has 3.3 million items share every minute. So if you post post this, if you post something with Facebook with 3.3 million items being shared on Facebook every minute, that, that's gonna get lost quickly. Hey, you know, I have a special offer going on over here, and then within a second, less than a second, it will gone. People won't see it at all. People won't recall it, right? Let's really unless it's really, really eye-catching and people actually go in there and, and save it for later. But if it doesn't have that, if you don't have that team of staff that can just, you know, create something that is eye-catching, eye it's just going to vanish on the air because it just get lost so quickly with the Facebook, with so many items that are being shared. There's just simply not enough uh, space in there. There's too much stuff going on. Now, paid advertising, the, the beauty with that is that you can continuously put stuff in front of them just because people it takes a lot uh, a lot of times to be able to see something in order for for us to be able to actually take notice just think about uh, all the ads you saw yesterday which ones can you recall okay uh, I can recall maybe very few I, uh, I ads that I saw yesterday right obviously I will recall mostly the ones that continue to sh be in front of me. To show up, those that actually has some uh, touch some part of my emotions, perhaps. Okay, so not spending en enough time—that's obviously a problem number three. Problem number four is not spending enough money <coughs> or investing enough money. So do you know that going back to Wimbley survey of small business owners, eighty-two percent of has spent less than fifty dollars on Facebook ad campaigns. And more than half didn't buy Facebook ads at all. Less than $50. Uh, so what can you do? <laughs> what What do you think uh, uh, Facebook is going to do if you're not investing that much money? And then you're just quitting. What would happen if you would not be investing enough money into the place that you rent or your business if you're renting? What would happen if you're not investing enough money in the equipment that you use for your dental practice, right? Obviously, the quality would be so poor. Be so the uh, the the equipment that you use will be so out of shape that you'll be out of business. People will be complaining. It might not be even in compliance with health uh, organization or health uh, departments, right, within your local city or state. Uh, think about the you not be investing enough money to buy parts if you do HVAC repair services. How are you gonna fix the the uh, your pro your your problems of your clients? You not investing enough money on the the uh, groceries you need to buy to, in order to prepare the food, right? That you serve your clients if you're a restaurant owner. Same happens with Facebook advertising. How do you think uh, Facebook advertising is going to get your results if you don't invest enough money in it? Oh, I just did a month. Just tried for a month. Didn't work. 
and yet it didn't work and obviously it didn't work because we didn't know how to use it right spending fifty dollars or something for a month in advertising when we never done it before obviously unless you're really lucky it's not gonna work because we don't know how to use it uh, <clears throat> coming up and pulling a teeth it's not gonna work I don't have any practice on pulling up teeth. Okay? So, not investing enough money, right? Testing or paying somebody to do it for you isn't going to get you any results. And if you need marketing, if you need, if you know that your business is, needs to be continuing to be out there to either stay in front of the existing clients, continue to get it come back, or to continue to reach new clients over and over. If you're not there, people will not find you. And nowadays, a lot of people are just over here using their phone. I use my phone to research whatever it is that I need to research. Okay, I get a lot of my answers from there. So let's face it. Uh, now, problem number five, you're not targeting the right audience. Okay? It's not that small businesses contacted by Weebly weren't seeing any returns on their ads. It's the quality of the returns that seems to be in question. According to the Facebook, to the feedback, small business owners did get clicks and likes, but struggle with sales conversion. Although I may get clicks or likes, it doesn't always translate to more money coming through the door, one owner says. Put in the simple, another response Lots of impressions, but I must not conversion. So you're not targeting the right audience. A lot of times it could be obviously because, right, we don't understand the platform. We just put in a specific gender that we women want to reach. It may be put in a specific age range or a specific income, right? That's too broad. I mean, a restaurant may be just... Uh, Kind of a little bit broad, but at least you want to specify a little more the location, right? You've got gender, age, maybe income, depending on the uh, um, the average cost of your place, right? And then number four, you may want to definitely be specifying the local area, right? Because obviously, if you are a restaurant that sells low or very low average items right anywhere from seven to ten dollars per plate uh a lot of people may not be willing to travel that far uh, even and perhaps your best customers may be may be within five miles radius of your locations so definitely uh target uh you know defining your audience by or targeting by gender age income and uh location that's very important for small local business owners right dentists uh, I see some ads of some dentists within my area, and they are in a totally different state. How can you do that? Definitely, I'm not going to go to a state like uh, Minnesota to get my, my teeth check. If I'm over here in California and within just my city, within 10 mile radius, I have uh, plenty, a lot of dentists to go and research, visit. So... Not doing the, the no targeting right, your right audience, right? With uh, targeting capabilities that Facebook offers, gender, age, income, interest, behaviors. Um, what else we got there? There's so many others that I may be missing right now, but not only with those. You have other ways to target audiences. You have a way to target audiences by people that visited your website in the past, by people that you may have on your list, right? On your customer relationship manager software. Uh, people that interacted with your social media in the past, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, and more importantly, you have a way to, to, tar to target your right audience by the way you say uh, whatever you say on your advertising. It's very different to say, uh, you know, uh, come and check us out for free implants. Or, or it's very different if you, for example, are on your advertising talking about free 
x-rays and YTT for new clients, but then you try to sell them implants, right? Makes no sense. Uh, it's very different if I'm advertising for free burgers and then I serve, uh, I only serve, I only sell hot dogs. <laughs> all right. It's not the right audience, definitely, right? So it all depends how you say things. So, for example, the, in the title of this, <clears throat> it's very different. That's, I say 60% of small businesses fail with Facebook ads. It's very general. But what if I say 62% of small business owners within the Solano County area fail with Facebook ads? Or 62% of small business owners, uh, well, let's say 62% of uh, chiropractors that are advertising on Facebook in the Solano County area fail. Or 62% of uh, dentists fail with Facebook advertising in the Solano County area for this reason, right? It's very, very different than what I said in the beginning. 62% of small businesses fail with Facebook ads. That's very general. And then I provided very specific examples. So you can target your right audience by... Again, taking advantage of the tools that you, the targeting tools you have with Facebook, right? The gender, the uh, age, the income, the hab the behaviors, the interests, some other stuff, but also building custom audiences within Facebook, right? People that visit your website, uh, uploading uh, your list, uh, the engagement with your Facebook profile, Instagram profile, and but also how you say the uh, whatever you say on your ad. Right? Who do you remind you about the people that is gonna see your ad? It's, there's gonna be so many people, so your ad is not gonna pack the same way uh, to everybody, right? It, it will tack to 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 it, it will only resonate with specific small amount of people, and that's just more than enough. So, problem number number five: not targeting the right audience. Problem number six, stop trying to go for the cold sale. Again, we got to think about, we got to remember this is social media. And we got to remember there's many different faces, uh, the people that are on social media. Nobody goes into social media thinking, oh, I'm going to go in it and see where I'm going to want to buy today. Right? We just want to go in there, see what our friends are doing, friends and family. You just don't want to go in there for the hard sale. So how can you fix this? Remember the sales funnel, right? You need to build the relationship from the beginning of the funnel, the top of the funnel that I mentioned, the little to no risk offer. All right. My guess is that this business owner isn't used to uh, a funnel, the one that just go and sales do for the hard sale, even though people don't even know their business, doesn't even know what they do. The business owner doesn't even know what the problem of the uh, people that are looking to serve are. So if you're only used to selling to people once they walk into your store, you're used to the hard sell strategy that works on people ready to buy. Okay, people walk into your store and you don't even ask them, you know, how can you help them? You don't gotta know what to serve them. If you are like a restaurant, you just put, uh, here's the, here's your food. And you don't even ask them what, to, what they wanted to eat. If you are a dentist, and you don't do a checkup first and asking questions, right? Uh, how many times do you uh, uh, do clean, uh, floss your teeth? How many times do you brush your teeth? What do you eat? You smoke, right? If you don't ask all these questions, how are you going to know how to how to treat them, right? If you come into for HV repair to my house and you don't even ask me questions about what happened, uh, what's the problem, uh, you know, well, if you're here, probably obviously you can diagnostic because you're here. But if you are on the phone, we're talking on the phone. You cannot see what it, what happened. You cannot listen. You haven't listened to what what happened, right? You don't ask the right questions. How are you gonna know if you are able to come in and fix it? If it needs a replacement or if it needs a replacement, right? I might not need a replacement. I might need you to help me install it, but you didn't ask the right questions. So, again, stop trying to get to go for the cold sale. Think about that just in the same way with Facebook advertising, right? Uh, 
on social media, you need to build trust before you can push for a sale. This is something you can do with occasional, occasional, occasional monthly posts. Okay, and then boost it, right, to reach awareness. You cannot just go and have put posts in there just to sell. Uh, but again, I mean, you got to have a balance, right? You have to have a balance of uh, putting posts and advertising in front of people that uh, doesn't know you, a, a post that to build that, start building that relationship, right? To be able to start being aware about what do you do, what, what are you different, that your competitors, right? And then obviously, you uh, Facebook is really great in other advertising platform is really great to continue to uh, uh, put your ad in front of people that may be further down the, the final, right? May, may be further down the buying cycle, okay? Uh, then at that point, you got you to gotta think, you gotta, again, you got to think about where the, the goal, right, where your client is that you're going to be targeting the ad to is in the buying cycle. Perhaps these people doesn't know you, so you throw ads at them, people that, that related to people that doesn't know you according to the platform, right, the social media platform. But then you can throw ads at there to this other specific group of people that already know you, like you, trust you, they know what you do. Uh, you just got to keep them coming back. So problem number six, stop trying to go for the cold sale. Problem number seven, understand that Facebook is a business, right? Some of the small business owner surveys say they don't believe the promise that pay posts will reach a larger larger audience. Small business owners seem to begin to distrust Facebook right at the very beginning of an ad campaign before there's even been time to see results. Imagine you dealing with the issue of somebody blaming you that your food is bad if you own a restaurant. Then we haven't even tried your food. Imagine you being a dentist facing with the issue of a client uh, saying you haven't been the results when you haven't even treated them. The, the teeth are not clean when you haven't even built the process of white cleaning, deep cleaning. Or somebody blaming you that the AC haven't, is not working when you haven't even served them, service them, okay? So a small business owner seems to begin to distrust Facebook right at the very beginning of an ad campaign before there's even been time to see results. When the ad order is placed, most small business owners reach by Weebly were left saying, show me people, where are the people? There are no people. Okay, they think that magically everything is just gonna happen. Without, without going to a process of researching what works and, and continue to invest time and money in it, okay? You need to remember that Facebook is a business. While it may seem like just a free place to hang out and socialize, it's not. You need to treat your relationship with Facebook the same as you would with any other business partnership. You will only get a return out of it if you invest in it. Now, understand you're a small business owner. You don't have time to be investing in it. Perhaps get some help. But don't say it doesn't work when you haven't even tried it. Okay? So, for example, linking a Facebook... Uh, blah, blah. Facebook also loves this because it provides... Okay, so use Facebook. I'm just showing my notes here to where I got to go. Embedding you are too comfortable. Okay. So, Facebook has proven results, right? They do. Otherwise, big, big companies wouldn't be investing in it. Otherwise, small companies will not be investing in it. I got small business uh, restaurants owners that continue to come to me to help them with their offers, you know, help them advertise their special offers they had coming up because they know it works. Otherwise, nobody will. Otherwise, if they don't do this, it'd be a harder effort for them to actually be out there, right? Distributing flyers. Uh, because their employees are busy actually attending the customers. They don't have somebody specifically. You, I guess you could hire somebody and pay a specific amount of money per hour and reach only a small number of people depending on the traffic they get, right? And they, where the area where they're located. But then you have uh, technology nowadays with social media advertising. You can reach a 
<clears throat> way higher number of people way faster. So this is not some new kid on the block who is still untested. Facebook has been tested. I don't know what. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Google over here. Uh, Facebook ad revenue. And what? Let's see. 2017. Uh, just on the article over here that I'm putting, Facebook advertising revenue worldwide from 20, 2009 to 2017, a million US dollars. In 2017, they had a revenue of almost 40 millions, right? 40,000 million. That, that's, that means 4 billions. Is it 4 billions in ads revenue? I'm not reading that right. Let's see. Facebook ad revenue stood at more of 39.9 billion US dollars in 2017, a new record for a company and significant increase in comparison to the previous year. That's the generation of revenue global wide, worldwide, uh, by Facebook in 2017. So it grew by 2%. Uh, so if it's growing, the advertising revenue is growing, eh, then would you still think that it's not working? More people are, I mean, if it's growing, meaning more people are spending more money on it, more companies are spending more money on it, more pe companies spending more money on it, that means they haven't results. Otherwise, why would you put more money in a soda machine if they're, you're not getting the, uh, at, at least the thing that you pay for back, right? Why would you be putting a uh, more money into a slot machine for a long time, even you know, without getting any money back? Because at some point you will run out of money. Now, that was a, right, a bad example. I didn't say it the right way, but you you know what I'm trying to say there. So. Again, Facebook is not a new kid on the block. It, they've been tested. It's been tested. The list of brands who have been successful with Facebook ads goes on and on. And I'm high here on the article. I see Coca-Cola, International, KFC, Ikea, some other things that I don't know. Right? It, it, the big, big, big brands. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So in conclusion... Almost two-thirds of small businesses are failing with Facebook ads. You don't have to be one of them. Remember that Facebook ads work, okay? We already discussed that in the beginning. Now, there are proven results that work for companies of all sizes, and a huge majority of businesses use them for content marketing. The problem is not with Facebook. It's with how you approach Facebook. Treat it like a business partnership. Make a strategy, determine what you want out of it and how you're going to measure your return. Be prepared to invest more time and money into it if you want results. As long as you invest wisely, targeting the right audience with the right messages, you will see a positive return on investment. Facebook wasn't designed as a place to call sell customers. It is social media, be social, build relationships, Connect with influencers and your audience. Connect with your audience, more importantly. Those relationships can still be profitable, right? Now, if, if this information was helpful, please go ahead and uh, leave, leave me any comments. Like it, share it. Uh, if, if there's something you can share with me that I can, you can provide me any feedback that can help me improve, I would really appreciate it. Now, obviously, make it great feedback. Don't make it like, oh, Leo, you're boring. Okay, tell me more about it. What do you think I was boring? Obviously, I can be boring for uh, some people. I cannot be, uh, my personality cannot attract everybody. But a small percentage that will attract, right, that will resonate with my personality, uh, that's, that's more than enough. Um, so, yeah, comment if you have any questions. And I'll leave you with this question. What has been your biggest challenge with Facebook ads. Perhaps I can help you. So uh, I'd be more than happy to answer, you know, to see your comments. And especially this one with the question, what has been your biggest challenge 
with Facebook ads. And if you uh, 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 leave that question there, if you, if you leave that answer to that question, and I able to, you know, I'm able, I will be more than happy to read through it and see uh, if I'm able to perhaps provide any feedback on it, any insight, uh, or even help you. Okay. Now you can go to www.digitaltrack.co, schedule a call if you just want some help with your advertising or free consultation. Uh, you can call me or text me, 707-410-0307. And again, my name is Leo Callejas with Digital Track. Looking forward to talking to you soon. All right, bye.